What's going on guys, Twin coming at you with another MLB The Show 19 video. Today we're trying to draft that 12-0 team, so we're going for 120 or more likes on this video. Feel free to subscribe if you guys are new on the road to 35,000 subscribers. We might even hit it today, that'd be awesome. You guys are crazy. Like, support from, from you guys recently has just been insane, so thank you guys so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Every single day, it's just awesome. You guys are continuing to kill it. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on them changing nine win rewards to a diamond choice pack. Let me read exactly what it says and uh, when exactly it's coming into effect. So, nine wins in BR will earn an 85 through 89 diamond choice pack, and this will take effect this Friday when the update goes live so the day that you guys are seeing this it's going to happen tomorrow so hopefully by the time it has rolled around we're getting close to nine wins and could get a diamond choice back let me know in the comments your thoughts on this i love it i think it's about time i think it's been a little bit long overdue at this point in the year especially based on the price of diamonds and everything so i'm definitely excited and it's gonna make me more likely to even after losing a game try to get to nine wins which will be good i think will be good great for videos and everything like that feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the fortnite channel down in the description below i'm hoping to daily upload during the new season Season on Fortnite, and let's go ahead, hop right into this draft. Try to get that 12 0 team. Let's see. <sighs> this is tough. I feel like Dennis Eckersley would carry me as a reliever. I really do. So, slider sink, four seam curve. I hate myself for doing this, but I'm gonna do it. I feel like a lot of y'all might disagree with that decision. I'm just gonna try it out. Hopefully, I don't regret it. Give me a few common rounds in a row. We got one. Pedro Baez, I like his pitch selection. Jordan Alvarez, though, he just has too much power for his silver to pass up for me. Uh, we already have a diamond righty, so I don't really want Trevor Hoffman. Let's see. Bill Mazeroski or Mookie Betts? Let me know down in the comment section below. Who would you choose, Bill Mazeroski or Mookie Betts? I'm one for two with Mookie, and I'm four for five with Bill. I'm going to go Bill because their power is about the same, and Bill just has a, a little bit better contact and vision. Bill's just the overall better hitter. So I'm going to go him. This Paul Canerco card was one of my favorite cards in MLB 18. Kyle Seeger is always a beast for me. And Hunter Renfro is a beast as well. Man, that's tough. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go Kyle Seeger up with inside edge. The lefty Hunter Renfro I've just been struggling with recently when I draft him. So I'm going to do Kyle Seeger. Or Corey. I'm sorry. I'm going to do Corey Seeger here. And... Uh, 56 for 151 a 371 average you guys can't see that but a 371 average for me and then hunter renfro with the uh with the 309 average and i'm just gonna go Corey seager let me know who you would have chosen if you want to down in that comment section hopefully that's not a bad decision uh let's see chaz Rowe, sure why not a righty give me three common rounds there's one okay uh man I don't know if I really want any of these guys. Like, I feel like I could get a better hitting first baseman in a gold round than Paul Goldschmidt. I have not used Paul Goldschmidt this round. Uh, Hector Neris, I don't really like his pitch selection. I guess I'll go, oh man, Jason Kendall. It's just like, it's, it's an 87 versus an 82 with inside edge. I'll go Jason Kendall, get a diamond catcher. Why not? That, that should be fine. Uh, Scott Ober can be one of my righties out of the pen. Sure, why not? Let's see. Alex Verdugo or Ryan Zimmerman. I'll go Ryan Zimmerman. Honestly, that, that's not a bad hitting card. We can go Zach Britson out of the bullpen. Uh, let's see. Jake Marisnik in center. I don't know if I like this draft or not, guys. Let's go Avisayal Garcia. Sean Doolittle. Um, Adalberto Mejia. Is this the guy that the Cardinals just got? I think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, we can draft him. Why not get a lefty starting pitcher? Uh, Let's get Brock Stewart. Let's get Chris. Do I want three good lefties? Yeah, sure. Why not? Whatever. Whatever. Chris Bassett and ending on a common round. We can grab a righty. Let's see. I like Jan Mar Marina. It's probably pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, but I, I like his pitch selection the best there. And then we'll do Chris Davis as a pinch hitter. 
All right, so I have a silver round and a gold round where I'm trying to replace third base and center field. So center field, center field, second, and he plays third. Uh, let's do... Let's do Corey Dickerson in the outfield. We'll, 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 we'll figure out a way to make it work, hopefully. And let's see. Can go Victor Robles or Robles. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. And I want a third baseman now. So second and short for Albies. I kind of want Albies. Let's see if Bill Mazeroski or Corey Seager plays uh, plays short. I'm pretty... Or, or, or uh, plays third. I'm pretty sure they do, one of them. So we can go ahead and check that real quick. Let's see, let's see. So Dodgers, Seager plays third base and second. Okay, let's just check Mazeroski. I feel like Mazeroski doesn't have a secondary. He does not. Yeah, okay. My feeling was correct. So let's go ahead and uh, draft Ozzy Albies here. Switch hitting gold. 82 overall. Hopefully that's not a bad decision. And then backup catcher just in case we usually don't need him woo just in case we do end up needing that so we can put Ozzy Albies at at uh at short right yeah Ozzy Albies at short and then Corey Seager at third and let's see so Jordan Alvarez 40 speed we'll keep him there obviously Al Garcia I think I'm gonna put Corey Dickerson in right and obviously Al in center I think I like that a little bit better then Corey in center, obviously Allen right. I think I like that. Let's see. Bullpen, Dennis Eckersley, and Man. Sean Doolittle, Zach Britton, or Chris Sale. Which one should be my go-to? We'll see which one ends up being my go-to. I'm not sure at this point. Uh we have a good bullpen though. We have a really good bullpen, a pretty solid lineup. I'm gonna lead off. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to lead off Corey Seager, followed by Bill Mazeroski, your Don Alvarez, um, I think Ryan Zimmerman, Ozzy Albies, Jason Kendall, Corey Dickerson, obviously. I think this is an okay lineup. If you guys have any changes you want to see me make, let me know. Hopefully, we can go ahead, hop into game one, number one right now, start off 1-0, start off undefeated. And get closer and closer to nine wins before the new update on Friday. We're playing the Pittsburgh Panthers. Our opponent has 96 Hanley Ramirez, DJ LeMayhew, 99 Ty Cobb, 88 Mike Pizza, Michael Brantley, Nick Castellanos, Daniel Murphy, 76 Miguel Sano, Trevor Richards on the mound, hopefully a righty. We got Chris Bassett on the mound. We're the home team. Really trying to be 1-0 with this team, guys. Not a great start to the game. An air by my shortstop. Or a base hit. Okay, I feel like that... I don't know. I personally would have... I feel like that's an air, but it's called a hit. Either way, not how we wanted this game to start. And striking out the number two hitter, DJ LeMayhew. Time to bring in one of my relievers. He has lefty, right, lefty. So we'll go... We're just going to go... We're going to go with Dennis Eckersley because he is my diamond reliever. And in my opinion... He's the best reliever in the game. Personally, I have not had a harder time facing a reliever than I have Dennis Eckersley this entire season. Um, I don't know about you guys, but that's just how it is for me. And striking out Ty Cobb, big out number two. One out away from going to the bottom of the first without allowing a run. Mike Piazza flying out. Final out of the inning. Going to the bottom of the first. Going to see what our lineup can do. So we just struck out... I think Nick Castellanos, and I literally held my 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 thumb on the analog stick because we had to go up and to the left for the pitch, right? But it said I went up and to the right. Have any of you guys noticed this? And am I, am I like crazy? But like, it said I had to go up and to the left. And oh wow, I just gave him a home run. That sucks. Uh, but as I was saying, it said I had to go up and to the left, and I did. And then my my thing on the on the meter showed me going up and to the right. So I'm really not sure if maybe like when I was going up to the left, I, I went from the right to like, I, I don't know, like what would it cost? And I'm, I'm just not sure if any of you, if any of y'all have noticed and feel free to let me know in the comment section. If you guys use pure analog, have you ever noticed it going like the opposite way of where you felt like you were going? Cause I've definitely noticed it before. And I just, I, I literally held my thumb in place. To see if I was going crazy, but it did the same thing. So I was just like, huh, that's really weird. 
And I'm down to my final six ounces with this team. Had a one, two, three bottom of the first inning. I feel like this is a better than no win team. So we're going to try to get that run back as fast as we can as our opponent still has their starting pitcher on the mound. Ryan Zimmerman, there we go. Starts our half of the second inning off with the warning track flyout. There we go. My first hit of the game comes with two down in the bottom of the second inning, guys. I really hope I can tie the game here because if I'm down to my final three ounce, if I'm losing in the bottom of the third inning, I'm going to be sitting here kind of nervous and probably swinging at pitches that I wouldn't normally swing at as Corey Dickerson. Lefty on lefty puts us in the lead. Just like that. We're three outs away from winning this one. Wow, what a change of events as the tables continue to turn. I just want to say the home run I gave up with, with Eckersley, not Eckersley fault. I'm sure you guys already know that, but it was my fault. Like, I threw a pitch down the middle, and I still do think that Eckersley, like, in my opinion, he's the best reliever at the moment in the game. Just his pitch selection, his, his attributes, and then his wind of his release of his pitch i just feel like is so deceptive and i just i love him and i'm hoping he can carry me to a 12 win run Corey dickerson coming through in the clutch with a home run dennis eckersley two and two thirds only one hit allowed it was that solo shot and besides that he killed it and if i manage my bullpen well don't make mistakes like that home run pitch if i can if i can keep the ball out of the middle part of the plate i think this could be at least a 9-win team. Hopefully a 12-0 team, but now we're, we're working towards 9 wins because that's when we can start getting diamonds. So we'll see what happens. I'm really hoping it can be a 9-win team, uh, but I'm really hoping it can be a 12-0 team as well. But we just got to take it one game at a time and play to the best of our ability every single game. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know in your opinion who the best reliever in the game is. You know, keep in mind release, pitch selection, attributes, anything like that. Just let me know who you guys think is the best reliever in the game. For me, I've had the hardest time this year facing Dennis Eckersley. So to me, he is the best reliever. Great pitches, great windup, like arm release, everything like that. Let me know though who you guys think down in that comment section. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias or sub to the Fortnite channel down in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.